Hey love, so I'm here guys to do another read for cancer. This will be for cancer all house placements. So if the messages here resonate guys, then take them. Newbies, cross watchers, you're welcome. This is read from cancer's point of view. Let's get into the reading for you all. Messages for cancer, messages for cancer. So guys, I'm gonna get some um, messages from the You Are Lovely Tarot, I mean uh, Oracle deck, and then we're gonna take it from there, okay? Let's get into the messages for cancer. If you wish to book, shop, all that information is listed in the description box below, guys. The full first card out. Okay, up. Let's see. The emperor is in the reverse and justice is in the reverse. You're escaping some situation where you're being treated unfairly. If you were in a situation where people were trying to dominate or control your life in some sort of way, if things have been unfair for you, if things have not been going in the direction that you wanted them to, something is closing out. I see something coming full circle and closing out and you escaping whatever this injustice is. All right. We're right. The reason some of you may be escaping this is injustice is because you're changing your view of something with the world here. I feel like something is seen clearly. You're changing your view on something, okay? You could be gaining knowledge here, worldly knowledge. Uh, some of you just doing research. Um, or you could see something. Like, I feel like there's a message, a download that you receive, and it's via the in internet some sort of way, okay? It is via Beyonce and, and uh, Drake's internet some kind of way, all right? Whatever comes out, though, it has to do with the abuse of power. It has to do with the abuse of someone's power. Someone is abusing their power. They're, they are using their status or something that's in their favor in order to manipulate a situation. That's coming to an end. It's coming to an end. It may be ending simply because you're choosing to see something differently or something about you ha that has changed. There's an internal change or a change in, in your outlook that is causing you to walk away from this here. The Empress, look at this. They're not the yin to your yang. The way that they do things is not the way that you do things, okay? You do things um, with others' best interests in mind. Someone does something for simply themselves. Very narcissistic energy here. Someone is very unfair. They do things very unjust, okay? And I feel like something's changing and you recognize that this energy, whatever this is, is no longer in alignment with you, right? The hermit. What did I say? So I feel like there's some inner work going on. There's some gaining of spiritual knowledge here. Um, there's a review here of the direction that your life is going in or something that you're doing. Okay, there's it's something connected to your spiritual beliefs. This person does not resonate with your beliefs spiritually. They don't resonate with your morals. Okay, or the situation does not. For some of you, this is work. For some of you, this is love. Okay. Tell me more about the Empress. Oh, Lord. Tell me more about the Empress for Cancer. Oh. The Magician and the Star. You know that if you truly desire to be someone or you truly desire to, to, to operate in some sort of way, if you truly desire to be pure and whole or to be completely and totally happy or to be completely in your power or to have strong control over your manifestations or even if this is spiritual strength, okay, then you know that you have to operate in this manner. This is you starting to operate from a more divine point of view, okay? So for a lot of you, you could have been the empress in the reverse at one point, and this is why you resonated with whomever or whatever this is, all right? You you really could have. <clears throat> Strong Aries, Libra, Aquarius, okay? Cancer. Taurus. Tell me more about the fool. 
What's this fool? Oh. The high priestess. And the hangman. What did I say? You're changing your perspective and it has something to do with spiritual knowledge. Ancient spiritual knowledge. It has something to do with alchemy here. They're, they're, you're trying to manifest and create something. And you know that dealing with this injustice, having these things that are a part of your life. There's some controlling aspect. There's something, there's some controlling aspect that you're freeing yourself from, separating yourself from somebody who doesn't operate the same as you do. Okay. The will of fortune and the sun. You see very fucking clear, Cancer. You see extremely, extremely clear that someone operates. From a low vibrational standpoint, someone uses fear tactics, control, manipulation in order to remain in power or to gain power or to gain access to the things, people, places that they want, right? Someone believes that Being a fearless leader, someone believes that using anger and scare tactics is the way to go about keeping control over a situation or the way something is going, or possibly this is just you. Control over what it is that you do and what it is that you believe. For some of you, this took place in your childhood. This is the way you grew up inside of a home situation, a living situation, or possibly even a relationship all earlier off in your life, okay? So this is a relationship within your 20s or late teens, okay? Even possibly 30s, 40s, you take it as it resonates, but there's something about someone wanting complete and total control over the way that you view something. You're escaping whatever this is. For a lot of you, you are no longer under this person's spell. All right. So some of you, someone could have been using spell work and manipulation in order to keep you connected to them or to, to or to hinder your growth. You're breaking free from that. You have an understanding that they don't have control over anything. Like, like God has the final say. The divine has the final say. Okay. Tell me more about the star. The lovers. Yes, yeah, so this is a karmic connection. Like, this is meant to teach you a lesson in some sort of way. Um, yeah. It was meant to trigger a, tr a change in you. It triggered a change in you and then you free yourself of it. So whatever this is, it's coming to a close and it has served this purpose. A hermit, yeah. Yeah, you. it, it has served its purpose here. There's the change, temperance. There's the change. Like it triggers a significant change, all right? Hmm. That's good. Tell us more about this emperor in the reverse and the will of fortune for cancer. What is this emperor in the reverse and the will of fortune for cancer? Hmm. The queen of wands. The ten of swords. Some of you leave a situation because you're finding out about third party energies. <laughs> Yeah, Ten of Swords Betrayal. Okay. Triggering. This is triggering a change. There's a betrayal. This is the only way somebody knows how to be. Yeah, the Strength card. You may view someone as trying to keep you stagnated or trying to block you from growth and expansion. Tell me more about, uh, and some of you, they have used some sort of spell work or witchcraft to hold you back. 
they have. The chariot, look at this. Justice is in the reverse, the sun and the chariot. So I feel like because you're seeing things clearly, you're able to escape whatever this is and you're moving forward. Tell me more about the uh, Empress and the Magician. Look at this. Justice is in the upright and the moon. Someone may not have wanted you to truly see who you are, but you do. Despite the attempts to cloud your judgment, to keep secrets from you and hide things from you, you are truly intuitive. That's not possible. You are picking up on things energetically, even if they have blocked your sight. All right. So if someone has blocked communication, if they blocked your sight, if they blocked the, your ability to to have clarity of what's going on here in, in this physical realm, they cannot block you in the spiritual realm. And so therefore, the messages are still coming through. The fact that that you're meant to do something different is still coming through, regardless of someone trying to hinder you or continue to gaslight you, to manipulate you with the chariot energy. You are moving away from that. Okay. 11, 11 is on the clock. Someone made you a promise of something, or they may be making you a promise of something to keep you from moving forward. Do not fall for it. It is dark. It is dark. And I literally just heard the particular boy, uh, verse from Moneybag Yo when he said, 11, 11, 11, 11 uh, make your wish. What did he say? Make your wish. I'm your genie or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, something like that. Y'all know what verse I'm talking about. I told her, make a wish 11, 11, I'm your genie or something like that. Like something's false. The fucking magician. Look at that right there. Something is fake. Something is false. Don't fall for it. You are spiritually way more stronger, way more in tune than this person. And it gives extreme Aries, 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 Aries. I have four cards out here that are giving me strong Aries energy. All right. Tell me more about the magician. The Ace of Wands. You up on game. You're up on game. If I don't care how long this person kept you clouded, you're up on game. King of Cups here, Pisces energy, right? page of cups you walking away is bursting somebody's bubble because somebody thought that they had you under control or under a spell or under something and you're walking away from this death at the bottom of the deck the three of wands and look at this the emperor in the upright and the two of wands you gave somebody long enough to do something the right way or to change the way that they were doing something the way that they were moving they're choosing to remain in this energy so therefore you're choosing to walk away why wouldn't you Tell me more about the hangman for cancer. Tell me more about this hangman for cancer. Death. What did I say? You changed your perspective and now you're moving um, into the energy that you should have been in. Okay. There's a rebirth here. There's a do-over. You're starting something new. You're being intuitively guided to, to, to make the decisions that you have made or that you are making. Um, the Hermit and the Knight of Swords. Someone may say ever since you changed your spiritual belief or ever since you gained some spiritual knowledge or ever since you've been calling yourself working on yourself like... um. Somebody's telling you you become stubborn. Somebody's telling you you become arrogant. Someone's telling you that you have uh, been dragging something out or, you know, beating a dead horse or something, and you're not. Like someone may be under the impression, Cancer, that you're no longer going along with them in an attempt to prove some sort of point, and you're not. That's not what this is. You literally are listening to your intuition and you're protecting yourself against people, places, and things that may cause you to compromise your integrity, your morality, your new opportunities. 
because there are new opportunities here and there are growth and there is growth and expansion here but someone wants to block your intuition so that you don't believe it's possible and someone also wants you to believe that you've reached the heights that you need to like you can't go any higher that's not true someone wants to convince you to stay where you are and to continue to invest when in fact you should be moving forward what's this the knight of wands yeah Bottom, of the, bottom line is something will never change, and you see that very clearly. Very strong energy, Leo energy here with double sun out here, all right? The emperor, and, and, and I'm sorry, we just have strong fire energy out here. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, the Nine of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups. A lot of you are freeing yourself from this and therefore getting blessed, being very blessed manifesting something really really good and i really feel like you're going to be happy with the decision to finally leave behind whatever this narcissistic manipulative energy is okay this is someone who's been using very low vibrational tactics to keep control over you and the situation well loves this is where i'm leaving this off at if the messages here resonated please do oh, i also want to mention cancer if it's not spell work this is someone who is lying their ass off? Period. Period. And let's be for real. If someone's using spell work to keep you connected, if someone's using uh, whatever they're doing, uh, binding, whatever the fuck it is, it's a lie. That is a lie as well, an illusion. Someone is a fucking liar. And that's the bottom line. They're a liar. They are not to be trusted. You see it clearly. All you got to do is just make the uh, the, the, the maneuver, maneuver around. Move around this person. You see them clearly for who they are. And then the crazy part about it is if this does involve a third party or another person, whoever this is, or even if the person who's doing, I heard casting the spell work, whoever the, the person is, they are being used as well, and it is also to their very own detriment. So if this, there's a third party attached to this person, it will be to their own demise that they allow themselves to be used and abused by this person, thinking that they are in a team when in fact they are a pawn. Okay? Somebody is a pawn in this person's game, and they don't even recognize it. They are expendable, and that's why they're there. Hmm. Strong narcissistic ass energy. But who am I? You know? So this is where I'm leaving this off at, boo-boos. If the messages here resonated, give it a thumbs up. Like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, Cancer. Bye-bye.